Hello, it's Denise. Running away from home. Mom. Today is the... I don't believe it. That can't be true. Today is the 3rd of December, 2022. It's a Saturday evening. It's 541. And it's almost as dark as 3 a.m. <laughs> Michigan. Winter. Just what it does. Bruce is out hunting with in-law but family and why do I always get the urge to video when I know it won't be long before Bruce comes back but in my defense for today it's been a hard day I slept 11 hours straight last night last night all in the night <laughs> But when I woke up, ooh, I paid. Bruce was home, and I didn't know it, and I had to get up and run to the bathroom without any oxygen, and I just said, Bruce, and he's like, what? So he was able to bring me my oxygen, and he made me breakfast, which was really nice, so I wasn't really hungry, and he gave me more than I wanted, but he gave me what I wanted. <laughs> told him I wanted it, and he gave it to me. You can't hold that against the man. And, um, there's a softening. I wish it didn't take him so long to process things. I wish he didn't have such a hard time and be so negative when he's processing things. And I wish he understood he understood what I mean when I say he's, he's the victim in his stories. I'm not the victim. I've gotten up. No, you don't understand. You take every story and make it so it turns out shitty for you. Feeling wise, emotionally wise, sometimes materially wise, but everything... <laughs> Unless it's a certain subject, every story that you have to tell, when you're venting, ends up making you the victim and you're not. Or, better yet, you are and you don't have to be. Days are getting harder. Times are coming. I'm not an idiot, although I do play one on YouTube. Um, and I know I'm doing it myself, but we had that disagreement a couple of days ago that he has now rethought and processed in a way that is healthy for everyone, except I hold on to that anger of his first response part of his first response was why am I even having you here you're you're no connection to me except for the mother of my my kids which brings back up in me that deep anxiety of not being stable here so let's get it done quick before it can be taken away just like I would do with my mom did I marry my mom? The things you think. The things you think about. Anyway, I was just in a chat. And, um, oh, it was really good. The two of them were really... There were, there were two ladies, and they were very good, very wise. I kind of felt it was skewed materialistically. And it's taken me 65 years to understand all you need is enough. You only need enough. Excess is gaudy and should feel shameful when you have more than enough and somebody doesn't have enough. 
And there are people in your communities that do not have enough. People in my communities that don't have enough. I'm waiting for the government to eagle to fly over and drop me my social security. I don't have to pay car insurance anymore. I don't have a car anymore. I don't have to buy tags. But last year, not too far from this time of the year, I believe it was in December, I got a nice big bill from um, palliative care from Spectrum Health for palliative care and I don't know if I'm going to receive another one of those those hurt <laughs> but I have enough I have enough focusing on yourself and having so much in excess when there are other people who don't have enough who may go to bed hungry because they don't have enough. At this time of the year, they don't have... Jason had his electricity turned off. $1,200 was the bill. There is snow on the ground. Um, he had no water, no heat. But you know, I have kept myself warm with a propane cooking stove and no electricity. It is possible. And I'm pretty sure his stove was a propane one. Anyway, plain foolishness was the cause of that and I hope with everything inside me that that's a lesson that's a valuable lesson that's been learned because that's all you can do is have it be a lesson let it let it teach you something if nothing else mm. I do not know so many things I do not know and I cannot wait to cross and know it all <laughs> And won't I be obnoxious in heaven? <laughs> I can see them on the other side right now going, give her another day. Give her another couple days. We're not ready yet. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I feel like there's still some final lesson I have to learn. And it's just on the tip of my tongue just beyond the reach of my grasp to know what it is and I have a feeling I'm doing that on purpose because I have a feeling this last lesson is going to be the hardest and going to hurt a lot myself, other people just hurt anyway I got on proof of life <laughs> it's been hard it'll get harder and it's all okay you guys I watch like Becky from oh I can't remember the name Becky and Kim Wadsworth and Jan Morrell and um, Anti-Chef and little village home little village homestead I think I watch a lot more than I participate in and the tarot readers are are interesting the mediums and psychics are even more interesting. Life is interesting. It's going to be 
I hope heaven is as interesting as life is in a much calmer, less dangerously feeling, less scary way. Because that's how life is interesting these days. Anyway, your mama loves you boys. Stop in, see your mama. And, uh, I tell you, don't subscribe, don't share, don't like, comment if you want, it doesn't bother me, trolls don't scare me anymore, does this look like a woman who really cares about what you think of her outside appearance? If you can look at me and judge me for the inside and have it resonate with me, that's a me problem that I got to deal with, and I thank you very much for pointing it out. Although I probably already know it, I'm trying to figure out the least painful way to address it, because that's just who I am. Enjoy your Saturday night, or Sunday morning if you're in Australia, like my cousin, Chris. And I uh, ask, as always, for the most benevolent good for the people of the world, the most benevolent outcome for the people of the world, for humanity, for the people of the United States, for the citizens in this state. I ask for the most benevolent outcome for us all. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Sorry, habits die hard, and it ain't a habit.